All right, so this is the making of uh, the Muckman mask, and I just wanted to uh, just kind of give a little bit of audio commentary as I'm going along here. Right now, I've experimented with foam filling this mask. Um, so I've filled it up. I got my little piece inside there and uh, just kind of trimming out some parts. This is the base. I used some spray foam to make those slime drips there. Experimented with a couple different types of spray foam and painting. Uh, just gluing them up on the stand, kind of making sure everything's, um, you know, lining up, kind of fit well before I kind of commit to gluing everything all down. Here I'm just, uh, I've got a base coat on the mask. Um, I use like a lime green, uh, nothing fancy, just some dollar store acrylics. Uh, and then I'm actually doing a wash. So I got a really thinned out KW inks uh, mixed with 50% alcohol and just blasting some dark green into some select spots. And then actually going to use like a sponge with 70% alcohol and kind of wipe that away. And what that's going to do is uh, get into all those little nooks and crannies and give a lot of character to that mask. So here I'm just kind of squirting around, kind of popping in some dark spots. I kept this a really uh, minimalistic uh, mask, only a couple shades of green. So just going in here, kind of hitting some of those low points, building up some shadows. going in the mouth pretty fun and fast and loose this is the second time I painted this mask um, oh yeah this version's like the deluxe version uh, learned a lot fabricating this guy so his head comes off had to fill in the head with spray foam and latex uh, to kind of make that pipe so you can actually put slime in the top hole and have it come out the mouth just like the original toy um, so this was a lot of fun figuring all these moving parts out, a lot of, a lot of planning, a lot of fabricating uh, to take an existing mask I had and alter it to this kind of deluxe actual puking version. Going in with a little dark green now, just kind of bumping up those dark spots a lot behind those front slime drips, adding a little dimension. Pretty simple paint job, I didn't go too crazy. I really wanted just the sculpt to speak for itself and then uh, the slime function, so you can see right down, down the hole there. Sculpting and shading a little bit, <clears throat> kind of highlighting some of the parts of the sculpt just with some dark, again, letting the uh, the sculpt kind of speak for itself, just kind of, yeah, again, darkening some of those dark points. So I'm coming in here, I uh, added just a few little accent details, dipped the back end of my brush into some dark green or black paint and kind of just uh, dabbed on some little dots to kind of make some little warped type things and just kind of break up some of those bigger areas. Uh, and then just kind of hand painted in some, some of the details here into the dark, uh, into those real low, like little uh, warped type areas. Uh, again, pretty, uh, I kept it really simple with this and I really liked how it all kind of came together. Popping the eyeballs in, those are a couple ping pong balls. Uh, and here's a shot of the finished thing all together. 